Let's talk about some of the most common inputs wired up to some of the most common modules that we have. In this example, I'm going to talk about an analog sensor that we're going to hook up to some of our common modules, like an Axiom 20 r which is actually an executive controller, not a module, a MinIO, and an IOM2. The IOM2 is the same as an IOM, a Savvy, or the original executive controller. You'll see many of those. In this example, this analog sensor is going to be a loop-powered sensor, meaning the power from the sensor comes from the Novar board, executive or a module. We'll start with the IOM2. On the positive terminal, that's 24 volt DC power source to power up our analog light sensor, our analog temp sensor, dew point sensor. One of those things are going to be analog. In this wiring, we're going to use a Novar blue wire, which has a white wire and a black wire inside. So I'll use a black marker for the black wire, but in this case, I'm going to have to use a red marker for the white wire. For obvious reasons, the white won't show up here. So this is polarity sensitive, so on the positive terminal, I'm going to use the Novar white wire, and that will go to the positive terminal of that sensor, so it can do its sensing whatever with that power. On the negative terminal of that sensor, I'm going to use the black wire and send that back to the negative terminal for the 4 to 20 milliamp return. In this case, the IOM2 can receive analog sensors, but only 4 to 20 milliamp. So I'm going to ship 24 volt DC out the positive terminal on the white wire. On the sensor return, I'm going to use the negative, the black wire, to go to the negative terminal for the 4 to 20 milliamp return. On the MinIO, I have three terminals here because it's more universal inputs. It can actually handle more sensors. I'm going to use again the Novar white wire for the power. On the MinIO, that power is a terminal called source. Every input has its own source terminal. This is 24 volt DC. I'll use that white wire again to power up the positive side of that sensor. From the negative side of that sensor, I'll bring the Novar black wire back to the input terminal so it can receive that analog value. Now on the MinIO, that analog value can be a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10, or a range within 0 to 10, meaning 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, as long as it's within 0 to 10 range. Remember on the MinIO, on those universal inputs, I have to move that input specific jumper between I for 4 to 20 milliamp or V for 0 to 10 volt but where it gets its power from is going to be the source terminal, again, in a loop-powered sensor. We move down to the xem 20 r controller. We have a terminal actually called 24V on every other input of the xem 20 r That's where I'll hook up my white wire, or the positive, to the positive of that sensor. From the negative terminal of that sensor, we're going to hook the Novar black wire up, and that will go to the input terminal of the xem 20 r This range here could be 4 to 20, 1 to 5, 0 to 10 once again. All this is going to be software selectable. There's no jumpers to adjust on the xem 20 r So here I've shown you how to use an analog input on an xem 20 r on a MinIO, and on an IOM2.